Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I did this video on you want money, well, it's not money you really want. And on that video, I got a comment from WP with Tom and he said, I know this isn't where you're going, but all I want is my time. I think about it all day at work, how I'm wasting hours of my life every day doing things I don't want to be doing. I thought this was an interesting an interesting comment, and yes, it is it is different from the video, but I thought I'd address this because I think this is an, an issue that we all, uh, well, not all of us, but most of us have faced at some time in our life where we are spending hours of our day doing things that, they, that we don't want to be doing. And actually, you know, this is pretty universal, right? Because you're always going to be spending some hours of your day or some amount of your time doing things you don't want to be doing, and, and that happens no matter what. I mean, I think in this case, Tom is talking about a job, right? And he wants to be free. He wants to have his freedom. I totally, I'm in big, I'm a big supporter of freedom. It's my highest value in life. You can check out my freedom playlist where I talk about freedom and what it means and how to achieve actual freedom in your life. But even, even if you have that freedom, right? Even if you have the kind of freedom that I have where I could spend my day doing what I want, I don't spend my day doing everything that I want to do, right? So I, I do things that I don't want to be doing necessarily. And so, but what I what I try to do, okay? And then what I think is the best solution for this. So I think there's two solutions for this, right? I think that, you know, most people that are in a situation like this, that this is what you should be thinking. First of all, you should be making a plan to alter your life. So if you're in a situation in your life that you dislike, that you want to change, and you're not happy with, then change it, change your life, right? There's, it's it's possible to do, but you have to make a plan and you have to take steps. And sometimes when you do this in your life, it's going to have consequences. It's gonna be painful, right? It's any kind of change as, as human beings, one of the most resistant things that, that, one of the things we're most resistant to is change in any form, right? There's that old, what that, that story of the, this man that had this dog, right? And and the dog is, is is sort of like laying there on the on the floor and, and every once in a while making a, a moaning noise, right? And the and this guy comes up and he's like, you know, what what's wrong with your dog, dude? And he's like, well, he's sitting on a nail. It's like, well, <laughs> well, why doesn't it move? Well, I guess it doesn't hurt him. It doesn't hurt him enough yet. When it does, he'll move. And that's how we are, right? In life is because we'd rather sit on a nail <clears throat> and be somewhat uncomfortable than change. And so. The, the first step, the first thing that you need to do when you're in that situation is figure out what is the plan that is going to take you to where your life, where you want it to be, right? And, you know, you really got to ask this question. You really got to think about how you would design your life if you can, because you can. You can choose what your life is going to be. Now, here's the, the, the catch. Here's the, the clincher, right? It doesn't happen instantaneously. And sometimes it's going to take a lot of work and sometimes it's going to take a lot of time. And sometimes you're going to be in a situation that you can't immediately change, but you're going to have to live with that situation for some period of time. So for most of you, right, that's a job, right? Some of you have aspirations to become free, to become financially free, to leave your job, to start your own business, to do something on your own. But you're not there yet and you can't be there yet. You have to grind it out at this job in order to make enough money to be able to get to where you want to go or you have to grind it out with your business or you have to grind it out writing your book right i've ground it out writing my book before it, it, it the book just can't be done right <laughs> the videos just can't be made you have to do them right you just can't have the success you have to grind it out you have to go through the grind i've done some videos on the grind before okay it's really important it's important it's a point of life so if you think about this right you 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 want to get somewhere, you can't be there immediately. So now this is the second point, right? So the first point is that you've got to actually decide to make a change. But the second point is that while you're in that transition, transitory phase, you don't have to hate what you're doing. You don't have to do things you don't want to be doing. And, and here's what I mean by this, is you have the capability, you have the choice to say whether or not you want to do something or not, right? So. If I'm going to have something forced upon me, if I must do something, right? If I don't have a choice, then I'm going to do it enthusiastically. Then I'm going to choose. If I don't have the choice of whether or not to do it, right? Especially based on my plan, then I'm going to choose how I interpret that situation. I'm going to choose. I'm going to recognize that I made that choice. I'm going to take ownership over the choice, even though I may not have a choice. But I'm going to pretend like I made that choice 
and sometimes I did, and I'm going to enthusiastically do it. I'm going to choose that I want to do it, right? Instead of saying that I'm doing things that I don't want to be doing, I can just choose, you can just choose to want to be doing it. So my advice to you is really to make that choice, right? And again, this is one of those things that I, of course, struggle with, we all struggle with, but I try on a daily basis when I, and, and I've talked about this before, but I try to change my words. Instead of saying I have to do something, I try to catch myself and I say I get to, right? And, and if, if truly I don't want to do the thing, then I make a change in my life so I don't have to do it anymore. I stop doing it, right? If I don't, if I don't like the benefits, if I don't feel like it's worth it, right? But if I choose to do a thing and I continue to choose to do it, in my mind, it's really stupid, it's really dumb for me to not want to do it, <laughs> right? It, it just doesn't make sense, right? Think about this, right? If, if you have a choice in the matter and you don't want to do something and you continue to do it, you don't like it, then, then what is wrong with you? I mean, you've, you've got two choices. You either stop doing the thing or you start liking the thing. <laughs> or, or I guess the third choice is that you keep on doing the thing that you don't like, which doesn't make any sense at all. You, you see what I'm saying? So again, not all choices we get to make. Sometimes we have to do things or we're compelled to do things or it, it's the most logical choice. I mean, everything we do, we, we make a choice, right? I mean, so we, we do have the choice, but Sometimes it's the most logical thing. Sometimes it's the most compelling thing. Sometimes it's the smart thing. Sometimes it's the thing that you need to do to get to where you want to get to. But just because of that doesn't mean that you can't actually make the choice, the positive choice, to enjoy what you're doing. You can enjoy whatever you're doing, no matter what. I mean, there's a lot of mundane tasks that you probably enjoy that other people would find painful. Why? Because you've chosen to. It's all about mindset. It's all about... so. If you're in your job, okay, you know, and I'll talk to Tom specifically here, Tom. If you're in your job, you don't like it right now. You're spending a lot of time wasted that you think is wasted because it's, you're doing what you, you don't want to do. You've decided to make a prison for yourself, right? I mean, yes, you've got to do this job in order to get to where you want to get to in life. I, and I agree. And, I, and you're on the path. That's great. That's smart. Okay, you want to be able to quit this job. You want to be able to have your own time and, and just and work on your own business. You don't want to work for someone else. But... If you decide to, to, to say that for the next however many years, I mean, what is this going to take? It could take you five years. So for five years, you could slave away and be in prison or not. It's just, it's just a choice. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's just a mindset. If you decide that it is going to be something that you don't want to do and you're forced to do it, if that's the story you tell yourself, if that's the mindset that you have about this, it will be a prison for five years and you'll get through it, you know, and you'll come out the other end. But... Why? Why make it a prison? Why not be like Nelson Mandela? Why not be like someone who chooses, <laughs> right? Why not be the kind of person that makes the choice that if they're going to have to do it, they might as well like it and they might as well pretend like it was their idea and that they want to do it, right? Because, because that's, that's the secret. Because then what you're doing is you're commuting that sentence. Instead of having a five-year prison term, you're, you're, you're living your life. You're enjoying your life, right? You can enjoy whatever you're doing. It's, it's just a mental thing. You can choose to do that. You can have the shittiest dead-end job that you're grinding it out. But if you think of it as a learning experience, if you think of it as, you know, sometimes when I have, have shitty stuff that, that I have to go through that I have to do, I don't think about the shittiness of the thing. I don't think about the job. I don't think of the task. I think about how it's building my character. <laughs> I think about how it's an opportunity to stretch myself, how it's an opportunity to make my attention span grow, how it's an opportunity to, to, to build my endurance, to build my uh, ca capability to, its, to withstand adversity. You see what I'm saying? Like These are all growth opportunities for me. So when the shit hits the fan, right, and I'm... I'm, I'm I'm in a situation I don't want to be in, I can choose to say how that the hardness of that situation is going to produce a good result within me. So I don't ever have to be in a prison, right? And again, it doesn't mean that I don't ever wake up every any morning and say, I don't want to do this shit, but I quickly turn my mind around. As soon as I catch myself doing something I don't want to do, I, I ask myself the question. I say, look, John, here's the deal, <laughs> right? This is how, because this is how I've decided to live my life is, John, you can do this. You can either stop doing it, all right, or you can start liking it, start enjoying it, like put your all into it, right? You know, I was just recording the audio version of my book today, and it's a bit of a task. I mean, it's 60, right? 
800 page book, 60 chapters. Okay. I've been doing like 10 chapters a day. And at one point I was like, man, this is, this sucks. I, I don't like doing this. I just want to get this done. And then I had to, I had to click over in my head. I had to realize, I had to say, look, you know what? Couldn't you have fun with this? Couldn't this be fun? <laughs> I mean, couldn't this be fun? I mean, isn't this a pretty fucking awesome job that you get to like read an audio book <laughs> for your, and you're going to get paid for this, right? I mean, this is how you make your money. This is how you're living. You're going to share your message with the world in an audio format. Couldn't you add a little more showmanship to the, to the audio version of the book and have fun with this and enjoy doing this and see this as a performance and see this as a chance to craft your speaking skills and to improve your vocalization and all of these things. You see what I'm saying? So I fall, I fall prey to this, but I can choose to overcome it. I can choose to, to commute the sentence, the prison sentence, and, and make it something that I do enjoy. And, and you can do the same thing in anything in your life, right? You know, again, if you're trying to get somewhere, if you don't like your life, if you don't like where you're at, change it. Go ahead. Go ahead and change it. Of course, get on that path. But while you're on the way, you don't have to go to prison for five years to, and, and get out, right? You don't have to like what you're doing. You don't have to like to stay there. You can change it. But at the same time, you know, if it's going to take you five years, I, I don't know about you, but I don't want to spend five years in prison. I want to spend five years enjoying myself as I buy my freedom, as I change my life. And, and it's really just a mental thing. So, all right. I hope that helps you. If it did, if you think it'll help someone else, make sure you share the video, you know, send a link, whatever. And uh, make sure you click the subscribe button below. Click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.